am I the a-hole for evicting my pregnant tenant because she got pregnant? Sounds like it. If I'm a landlord, you think I'm trying to have some snot-nosed kids run around my apartment? No way. Yeah, they're raising the rent for like more tenants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doubling that rent. Yes, I know the title sounds awful, but please do hear me out before making judgment. I will accept what judgment is given. I, 30 male, purchased a three-bedroom condo in Toronto, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. You know, a secret Canadian girlfriend yeah, yeah. that taught you the Canadian. Okay. What, what's the Canadian thing? Hey. Hey. And I was in my second year of medical residency. Soon after the purchase, I rented one of the rooms to my roommate, female 29, to offset the cost of the mortgage. I live in one room. She lives in the second. And the third is my study slash office. She has been a great roommate from the beginning. We aren't necessarily friends as we don't do things together for fun, but we do get along exceptionally well. It's kind of what you want out of a roommate. Yeah. A good enough. Good enough situation. Christian, you're good enough. I love you. (laughs) The entire roommate tenant relationship has gone swimmingly up until recently. A couple of weeks ago, my roommate broke the news to me that she's diseased. Diseased with a parasite that is her child within her belly. Growing inside. Growing her. inside. Is it contagious? She's pregnant. The father was a fling of hers who does not want anything to do with the child. My roommate has decided she wants to keep the child anyways and raise it on her own. To me, that seems like a huge challenge. And I admire her for it. She don't need no man. Yeah, she don't. She's a young, independent woman that don't need no man or maybe no no landlord. The issue is, while I don't necessarily dislike children, I have no desire to live with a baby. (coughs) Always crying, not doing the dishes, not taking out the trash. Stinking up the place. Stinking up the place, probably leaving open the toilet seat. Man. That baby don't pick up after themselves for nothing. You live under my roof. You live under my roof. You better be working. When I when I was your age, I was in the coal mines. I was handing out newspapers in the coal mines while working the coal. While the condo is a fair size, Flex, I will most definitely be woken up by the baby crying at night. My condo is also where I like to come home and relax. Like Take the ladies back yeah, to Yeah, take the ladies to bone down. I'm not going to be boning if there's a Baby Baby. crying. My condo is where I like to come home and relax. It's like a haven after a long work day. And the idea of coming home to a baby seems honestly pretty chaotic. Especially since this isn't my own child. I one that my girlfriend and I decided to have slash mentally was prepared for. And as difficult as it is for me to do this, I told her essentially what I've written here. She better move out with her and that pregnant belly of hers because that baby and her are not welcome in my condo. I'm not rushing her out or anything. I have given her six months notice since any later than that will come too close to the birth. She was honestly quite taken aback and thought I was being cruel. All right. Well, I guess like, I don't know. Do you think, do you think OP is being cruel by kicking out a pregnant woman on her ass? It's definitely a little rough since she's about to be a single mother at the same time. I, I totally understand where OP is coming from. A baby is a is a big ask. It's a big ask. Big time ask. Yeah. And yeah, I wouldn't want that thing yapping in my house. Yeah, especially, you know, like a, a, like it's a condo. It's not like it's like your own apartment complex. Yeah. So it's a little rough. It's a rough. I would I would try to assure her, say, hey, I'm gonna help you yeah, find, find a, a new place. place. Yeah, it is a, but it is, it is rough. It's pretty, it's a, it's it's a pretty pretty, sticky situation. It's like one of those, like when when you're on the bus and you like stand up so the pregnant woman can sit down. It's like he pushed the pregnant woman (laughs) on the floor. (laughs) Yeah. um, Not only do I not want you on my seat, how about you sit on the floor, you fat mama? Her primary concern is that rent has gone up substantially in this city since she signed on with me. I haven't increased her rent since she moved in, so she's essentially paying 2015 rent. She works as a waitress and will likely need to find a lesser apartment to keep within the same budget. A couple of other considerations are that she was out of work while restaurants were closed, but I did waive her rent for that period. All the furniture is also mine aside from her bedroom, so she would need to figure out that as well aside from child expenses. I understand her position and I feel horrible about the situation. But honestly, I just can't live with a big-ass baby. He's not a charity. Am I the a-hole? 
Like, this man, OP is not a charity. He's basically been very charitable with her this whole time. Yeah, he even gave her a break on the rent. So, exactly. OP. Yeah. All right, well, before we give our verdict, what do you think in the comments? Put it immediately. But what's the verdict? Not not the a-hole. Not, not the a-hole or not the not a-hole? Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. But Ariana, there is an update that makes OP look even better, honestly. Oh, I think. okay. So when I came home from work today, I told her that I wanted to discuss the overall situation. Before I even began, she actually apologized to me for how she spoke to me and for expecting that I would be okay for her to raise her child here. I told her that her apology is totally unnecessary and her reaction was completely understandable considering the uncertainty of her future. I then told her, but I told all of you, that I would waive her rent for the remainder of her stay to help her get on her feet. Yo, that's chill. That's a really chill move. All right, so OP for sure not the a-hole. Yeah. But yeah, hey, let me know in the comments what you think you would do if you were in this situation. Would you want to live with a baby? Would you be okay with that? Um, put your comments down below. You've just been graced by my girlfriend, the beautiful Ariana, um, and I will see you very soon.